Hello YouTube, this is Philip20 today. I've got a couple uh, comments that I wanted to clarify. Basically, this is the uh, inverter's installation manual. And you can see it says, Never connect the input neutral to the output neutral. Damage will result. Okay, and you can see here, AC input and AC output. And it says, in on the right and a ground symbol on the left and what they're trying to refer to you to do is to put in a ground rod into the ground instead of making it clear just saying install a ground rod to ground and run a dedicated ground circuit to this right here and run your neutral leg to your sub panel right here so my system is set up where I have a dedicated ground rod just for this and the solar array which is not attached to any other circuits so since it's not attached to 120 volts or 240 volts or any of the other panels this ground is directly connected to the solar and this neutral is directly connected to the uh, sub panel and then you got L and L do you see that okay so you got there's you know basically leg one leg two leg one leg two and neutral and that's a ground it doesn't actually tell you that it's ground but I called them and they said that's a ground circuit attach it to ground they they didn't even try to help me with it customer service for Ames is terrible but you can see ground leg one leg two leg one leg two neutral this neutral goes to your sub panel this ground goes outside to a 10 foot ground rod that's copper and you drive it in the ground you don't leave half of it sticking out because it ain't done yet leave half of it sticking out you're gonna uh, not have a ground you want to have a real good ground um, there's ways to test these grounds I don't have the actual equipment but I did have an electrician test my ground I wanted to make sure when lightning struck it didn't strike my house it struck the ground so that's how you uh, wire up this circuit this is the AC input that's a ground circuit okay and this is from the main panel leg one leg two comes from the main panel and these two go to the sub panel and attach the neutral leg to the sub panel so my neutral leg is never connected to the ground circuit you understand now that's how the system works now another thing this is says leg one leg two some people would assume this is 110 volts 6,000 watt inverter this is not 110 volts it is multitasking on this type of inverter it's called a split phase it does 220 volts input 110 on one leg 110 on another leg and then it comes out uh, you can see here it, it shows just one wire here. So I, I didn't wire with this one. I wired with this one So it's the same same principle You know ground Leg one leg two Leg one leg two neutral So this is the one I actually wired to I didn't even re I've forgotten didn't realize it But this would do 3,000 watts this would do 3,000 watts, but this will do 6,000 watts and the reason of that is you got leg one leg two which is 240 volts or so let's uh we've got our inverter plugged in okay right now it's uh let's we got our two test leads we're gonna take leg one leg two this is input power, not output power. This is input power. Okay. There's 246.1 or so. And that's the 
high voltage from the main panel going in. Okay, notice I have a green wire here. That is a green wire because that is a ground circuit. And then over here on the right, that's a white wire. Because that's a neutral leg. And then you got a red wire and a black wire. And then you got a red wire and a black wire right here. So we're going to check the voltage on this red wire and black wire. We should have 246.1 from, there we is, 246, almost 246.1, it goes up and down. So, if I unplug that right there, I'm going to do that, let me set the phone down. I unplugged it, the lights went dim, and now we're at 229.1 volts. And what's different about this inverter versus other inverters, it can separate the voltage. So, right here, we was checking the voltage, right? So now I'm gonna go to the neutral leg. And look, we got 113 volts. Let's stay on the neutral leg and go to the other leg. And it's another 113 volts. It stays at 113 volts, and then it does another 113 volts, but the phase is in 90 degrees. So it's halfway between the other circuit, which doubles the uh, frequency of the, uh, the sine. The sine wave doubles whenever you uh, put 90 degrees on it. So, there might be 180. I, I could be wrong. Anybody got any heads up on that? I'm not an electrician. But, I'm trying to explain this, guys. Uh, we got a neutral. This is a, not a neutral leg. This is a ground leg. And it says neutral. Input neutral. That is not neutral. That is a ground leg. This is leg one, leg two, leg one, leg two and the neutral that goes to your sub panel. This is how my system is wired up. Consult your local electricians before you try to wire up an inverter. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna burn your house down or kill somebody in the process. I just wanted to clear, th clear this up. Both of these with the inverter together is 230 volts. And then this with this one is 110 and this with this one is 110. This is Philip 20 with Guns, Games, and Racing and I'll holler at y'all later.